Hi, how are you? Uh, you know, I felt like we were about due for another good uh, Jeff's Best Hemp Fireside Chat um, here in uh, uh, my home office, just ready to kind of talk a little bit with you. And uh, I apologize about the light flickering a little bit in the background. I just don't have any control over that. It's, uh, it's kind of as good as it gets. But um, I invite you to a new fireside chat, and what I wanted to talk to you about really had to do with just quality, uh, quality and um, why quality in people's habits. And um, I want to really kind of encourage you to think about why it is that people do the things that they do, and even more so, I'd like you to really think about um, why would you ever pay. Uh, for pay more for a product or, or even pay the same for a product when you have a better choice that's available to you when you have something that's available so I'm just gonna you know we can talk about my products and about the products that are contained in my line um, virtually every single thing that is made by my company is something that I wanted to see in the market that was not available before I made it and um, in terms of quality and things that are offered to you, there's things that are light years ahead of other choices that are available on the market. Any any product all the way through my entire line, there is nothing that is the same as what someone else does. There is nothing that is the same as anything else that's out there. They are all meant to be incredibly stellar, cutting edge products. And, um, you know, I think it's really important to kind of go back to, uh, to even just looking at things in their most basic grassroots style. Why would you ever pay more for an inferior product? And what I mean by that is, let's say that, uh, you know, let's just look at hemp proteins. So why in the world would you ever pay for something when, you know, let's talk about BPA for a minute. Let's talk about bisphenol A. I want to talk about its effect on you. I want to talk about its effect on uh, on how it may affect you in the future. Bisphenol A and BPA is 100% established now to be completely and totally unhealthy for you. Uh, things that come in contact with plastic, that are contained in plastic, um, everything, it breathes, it leaches, uh, it has tons and tons of, of horrible consequences on your body, on your hormones, on your reproductive system. I happen to like my reproductive system a lot. I don't want anything to mess with it. Uh, it can have poor effects on your cells, and we, we won't even get into the environmental consequences. So if you're being offered something... Uh, even even if something was the exact same content as something that was on the market, but it's packaged in a in a package that can put you at greater risk for all these types of horrible illnesses, why would you buy it? Why would you spend all your hard-earned cash to poison yourself? Why would you do that? I don't understand that. I don't understand why that is when there's way better choices that are available uh, through, through with my company and with other people's companies. Why would you do that? It doesn't make any sense. And I really want to encourage you to ask yourself, why in the world would I do this? Is it Am I just a creature of habit? Am I scared to switch stuff up? Um, do I, am I, am I so locked and rigid in my thinking that I, I won't go and think outside of the box? Do I not understand the chemical dynamics that are available uh, that, that take place in in that uh, in that style? Um, do I what what is involved in that? So I really want you to look at it and and ask yourself why it is that you would ever pay money for something that is toxic to you. And then in addition to that, I'd like you to think about well. If I'm, if I'm taking something, if I'm going to aim at something for one goal, why would I pick something where I don't get the absolute most out of it that I possibly could? So if, you have, if you're aiming for a protein, well, why would I not go for a protein that's the most easily absorbable one that I could possibly get 
and one that not only provides something in an incredibly awesome nutrient-dense format, but something that gives me other things along with it, like healthy fats and primary minerals and primary nutrients and blood sugar regulation. Or if you're taking an essential fatty acid, well, you know, why would you take an essential fatty acid? To Because it works in every cell in your entire body. Um, because uh, you need it for proper functioning of your mind and of your heart and of your... Uh, to, to have gorgeous looking skin. You need them for the eicosanoids in your hormones. You need it for virtually almost every soft tissue functioning. You need it to avoid dry skin. You need it for your hair. It helps to break down into HA and the hyaluronic acid. You need that to look good. Um, so then if you're going to pick an essential fatty acid, well then if you know that BPA is dangerous, why would you ever pick something in a plastic bottle? Be, just because you always have and there's no room for new information? Come on. Are you freaking serious? Um, why, why, why are you even in a store picking something to try and help you get healthy if you're not really aiming for the very best stuff? You can't possibly pick the things that are the best for you if you coast on autopilot. You can't do that. You have to ask questions. You have to be diligent. That's just the era that we live in. It really is. It's as good as it gets, and you have to really look at stuff. Well, then, if you know that you have things that are clean, things that are pure, and you're like, okay, I want something that's really raw and fresh and awesome, killer. And so then you're like, okay, good, now I got that. So now I need to look at essential fatty acids and say, well, why would I want to pick uh, uh, one over the other? Well, you know, look at your omega-3, 6, 9 fatty acids. Look at the balance. Look at the ratios. Ask yourself, does this have any other properties to it? Does it say maybe have some chlorophyll, does this have magnesium, is this something that has components to it that are better, that are more well balanced, per se, than something else. Um, I, I, I never want people to think of things in a way where, you know, it's always just one and never the other. I think that a greatest health is achieved through a nice balance of a lot of different substances and, and that's a good way to go, but um, when, you're, when you're picking just one, before you're able to really think through clearly and go, hey, I think I'd like to try these couple based on my family and my history and everything, you know, to do that. Uh, why would you pick something that's inferior and in inferior packaging when you have something that is more well-rounded for you and your family that will achieve a greater level of homeostasis, that would achieve a greater level of purity, that tastes better, that has anything when it's right available to you. Why would you not pick the best? You deserve the best. You know, I, I can't understand why anyone would ever sell themselves short on a product uh, when they have better choices available. Is it just, you know, out of habit? Are you, do you have poor self-esteem? Um, do you not think about what's going on? I don't understand why that would be the case. I like to think that it's just because people don't know sometimes that there's better choices. So um, that's really one of the things that's there. And I want you to really ask yourself why it is that you would ever pick something that is an inferior choice when there is something better available to you. Um, and you should really just kind of work that through. And with regards to my product line, virtually every single product that is out there is something that I've diligently worked at to make a much better choice superior content, superior packaging, um, superior uh, uh, validation, price points that are regular are great for people's um, families so that you can have really killer high quality raw food products at a really good uh, family friendly budget within, within my friends we all have that seven dollar rule uh, where almost even the simplest raw food snack always costs at least seven bucks. And I didn't want this to quite fall into that category because it allows people to tune out and say things that they don't need to. Um, and with regards to body care, the massage and body oil is not just something that is just, uh, you know, floating around out there not doing much. It's a killer combo of essential uh, essential oils and soothing skin oils and it's in glass and it's clean and there's a reason that it has a nice balance both for assisting with things like psoriasis and eczema but also providing you a way better effective deep tissue 
uh, penetration and massage if you do massage. Um, for the soothing shave oil, that's not just something that gets the stuff off your skin. It's something that also is killer for wrinkles and for rashes and helps to detoxify your skin. Um, there's so many things that are out there. The snacks, all the snacks are are done with organic spices and organic, uh, uh, you know, sweeteners and, you know, good clean cacao and provide you with superfoods and prebiotics and all of this is just meant to rock. And so when you're out there making choices, I don't even care. No, well, no, I do care. I don't want to lie. I care a lot. I do want you to pick my products because I think that they're one of the very best choices that you can possibly make. And I'm really, really working my ass off to make you some of the very best stuff that I possibly can and to work with the cleanest sources that we can, to work with people that are local, to work with people that are reputable and that have really good ways of approaching things. And I'm trying to do the very best that I can. And I want to really encourage you to do the best that you can for yourself. When you're picking your choices and you know that there's packaging that's toxic, why would you pick that packaging? Just because you see case stacks of something in a store does not mean it's the best choice sometimes. It can just mean it's popular or maybe that a store got a good deal on it or that they, uh, you know, that it was just a cool intro, but it doesn't mean that it's necessarily the best. You want to really look at things and say, why am I here? Why is it that I'm doing this for myself? Why is it that I'm getting this for my family? <clears throat> How am I feeling? How am I approaching all of this stuff? Do I think I can feel better? <clears throat> all these different reasons and uh, really be diligent about those choices. Um, when you know that there's things that are out there that are completely toxic, when you know that there's content that is inferior, when you know that there are uh, substances and what you put on your skin that are known to cause cancer and known to be unhealthy why would you ever pick any of them and why would you tolerate a company that does and why would you be passive about those of the about those poor choices being present in a store that's supposed to be healthy you should be vocal and you should be uh, diligent and you should be very solid on the fact that you have every single right you shouldn't have to think about really anything uh, to the extent that I think all the choices that are out there should be healthy. and um, But that's not the case. So for now, you have to be vigilant and diligent and really look for those good choices. And don't sell yourself short when you know that there's things that are not good for you and you know that there's choices that are better. Utilize them. Utilize them and really make the best of what's available. And please pay attention to the details and look at what's out there. I can only speak for myself. I am working my ass off to try to make the very best products that are possibly available to you with with very little means. And if I can provide these great products for you with hardly any means at all from a company that I launched from my savings that is doing, I think, very well uh, and being well embraced, then what excuse do these other giant companies have for producing inferior products? Help support my company help support yourself, help to make great choices, and I promise I will not let you down. And please don't let yourself down. Make good choices. Don't buy things in BPA packaging. Do not buy stuff that is one-sided in its nutritional strength. Get things that are clean and well-rounded and, and raw and good uh, if you can. Or if you're going to get something that's a little bit cooked, get something that has tons of good nutrition going for it. I'm not just I'm not an exclusive raw foodist. I think that there's some places for everything, but get things that are clean and good and don't cook it to death. Man, like go easy. Uh, please think about this. I just want you to really think about these these things that I've said to you about BPA, about content, about your choices. Think it through. You deserve the best. You deserve the best because you are a product of love. And uh, love always wins. You need to win for yourself by making decisions for yourself that are made out of love. And you deserve great choices. So I just want you to think about these things. I, and I, I felt like I needed to just kind of talk to you about that. I hope you enjoy these fireside chats. And... Uh, I hope that this helps you to connect with me as the owner of the company 
and uh, hopefully it helps me to connect with you as I'm out and about in the world and in the field and just talking to people. Uh, I appreciate all of your wonderful feedback and support, and uh, I hope this helps you feel comfortable with my company and making a purchase for our, for um, my products as well as all the other great products that are out there that are trying to make the right steps in producing really killer stuff. All right, have a great night, and uh, I'm sure we will see each other very soon. Bye.